welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm finally going to start making some Amtrak videos. I took an Amtrak train trip back in October um, for my first solo trip. It was also my first time using Amtrak, but after being on the Amtrak trains for hours and hours and hours and hours, I think I'm kind of an expert. I mean, I'm definitely not an expert, I guess, but I definitely think I have figured out the main pros and cons to Amtrak travel versus, you know, taking a car or a plane. Doing train travel in the United States is definitely a lot different than it is in like Europe or Asia. So if you've never done train travel in the US before, this is the video for you. And hopefully you can kind of figure out if you want to, you know, dip your feet into Amtrak or not um, and just kind of see if the pros outweigh the cons and such. Um, my trip personally I took coach and I went from the Midwest to the East Coast and kind of went down the East Coast and then went back home so I don't really have I guess personal experience with anything on the West Coast. Um, those trains or also being in like business class or a sleeper car. I just did coach the whole time, even overnight. So anyway, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. If this video helps you out, go ahead and like it. I will be making some more Amtrak videos in the next couple of weeks. So if you want to subscribe, you'll know when those videos go online as well. And let's just get started. I'm going to go through the pros first. Okay, so number one pro and this is something that's really, you know, important to me is that Amtrak and train travel in general is more environmentally friendly. Um, definitely, you know, has less emissions and all that not so fun stuff, um, especially when you look at like planes versus trains. And even I think with cars, it's more environmentally friendly, um, especially when you consider how many cars there are in the world, <laughs> especially in the U.S. Um and then also cost is a little bit of a pro, but it could also be a con depending on where you're going and how long of a train trip you're going to do. They do have um, different rail passes that all vary in um, cost. So yeah, if you're going somewhere relatively close to where you're starting off, it's definitely a cheaper choice than flying. Um, luggage luggage is definitely a pro when it comes to amtrak on planes you can only do you know the one personal item and then a carry-on and then usually you have to pay for anything checked um but with amtrak you can have more i definitely meant to write down what it was but um i'll probably put it up here the exact amount that you can bring on but it's whatever i put up here more than you can do for a plane. Um, and there's also less restrictions. Um, obviously when you go on a plane, you have to have all your liquids in only three ounces or less. Um, you can't have certain items or certain items can only be checked or cannot be checked or et cetera, et cetera. There's a ton of luggage, baggage, you know, restrictions when it comes to flying. I mean, for a reason, but it's also super annoying. Um, and there's also weight restrictions and everything. I mean, technically Amtrak has weight restrictions, but they don't weigh your bags or check your bags or look at your bags. I mean, you can check your bag on Amtrak if you would like and weight maybe matters then, but if you're just doing carry on, they don't weigh your bags or you don't go through security. There's no security scan or anything. So um, we'll get more to that in a little bit, but, um, but yeah, so being able to bring on full sized, you know, water bottles, shampoo, conditioners, all whatever liquids you need is definitely a plus. And then also you can, you know, you can bring on food. I mean, I guess you can bring food on planes too, but you can like just stop by the drive through on your way to Amtrak station and just bring everything on with you. It's no big deal. So yeah, it's definitely better luggage wise. And like I said, they don't really check the weights or anything, at least on the carry-on stuff, so. Um, and then also kind of going on with that, there's no security. Like, you don't have to go through security. Like, at the airport, going through security is super annoying. You have to take off your shoes, go through the little scanner. Um, they check your bags and all that stuff. 
but with Amtrak there is not any security like that. Um, and like I said, that could maybe be a con because somebody could bring on a gun or something. But except for on a plane, pretty much anywhere in the United States, someone could have a gun. <laughs> I mean, we don't have good gun laws. <laughs> but I mean, if you're someone who's really, really worried about security and someone possibly having a gun um, or not being who they say they are because they don't check IDs or anything either, um, then maybe Amtrak isn't for you, but I consider not having to go through security a pro. Um, another pro for Amtrak is that the seats are really comfortable. Um, definitely better than being in a car and better than a plane seat. They go back really far. The front part comes up. Um, so you're basically kind of like in a recliner chair and they're pretty wide and comfy. And then there's also a little thing that comes up that you can rest your feet on in the front. And then there's also a tray. There's a plug-in right there. They're really nice seats. They are they kind of vary depending on which uh, train you're on, but they're all pretty big and comfy and they all go back far and stuff. So that is another huge plus for doing Amtrak, especially if you're doing like a really long trip. You definitely want comfortable seats. Um, next pro is being able to move around more and have more freedom to move on airplanes. I mean, unless you're going to the restroom, you pretty much have to sit down, you know? And then obviously if you're in a car, there's no standing up at all unless you stop and then it just delays your trip. Um, but with Amtrak, there's definitely more freedom to get up and kind of walk around. You can go to the cafe car or if there's an observation deck, you can go there or just stand around. I mean, as long as you're not really in the aisle. If you're on the shorter side, you can pretty much just stand where the seat is and there's enough room. Um, or especially if you have kids, then they can stand up and move around a little bit more and aren't so confined. Definitely a huge pro on Amtrak. Um, and then also when you get to stops, sometimes at certain stops, you can get off the train too. If they're going to be there for a little while, they'll announce it and you can get off and walk around outside and then come back on the train too. So that's really awesome too, because you definitely can't do that <laughs> on a plane. Yeah. And then the last pro I'm going to go over is being able to just sit back and watch the world go by. Amtrak travel, um, train travel in the U.S. is a great way to just kind of see the countryside, see all the little small towns and just... It's really nice, especially when I was like going through like the Midwest, it was like, you know, the really rural and you know, all the little small towns and then going through like the Virginias and stuff, you know, you get to see all the mountains and it's just really beautiful. And you can't get that with a plane. You just, unless you're going over really tall mountains and then you just see like the top of the mountain or whatever. I mean, I like, I like the views out airplanes too, but it's definitely not the same as being on the ground. I mean, you do get the view when you're driving as well, but when you're driving, you're driving. Unless you're the passenger, you have to focus on the road and you know, you don't really get the same experience, I think, as being able to just relax and just, you know, not have to worry about where you're going or anything like that. Plus trains go they're usually kind of close to the highways, I think, but sometimes they go different ways. So you can see different areas that you wouldn't see if you were on like just a highway. Um, okay, let's move on to the cons. Um, there are actually, I don't really have that many cons written down, but the cons that I do have are kind of major depending on your personal thoughts, I guess. But these are the cons from my perspective. Um, one, it definitely takes way longer um, something that could be like a plane ride could maybe be just a couple hours, but um, train travel, definitely different here in the US. It takes quite a long time. <laughs> um, when I took my solo trip, I went from Kansas City to Albany, New York, and it took over 30 hours on trains. Uh, two different trains. I transferred once. The reason it takes longer is because you have really long layovers. Well, there's a couple reasons. One, there's a lot of layovers. So like for in sh for instance, in Chicago, I had like a six or seven hour layover between my train transfers. And then the other reason it takes a long time is because there are not very extensive train lines in America. So around Chicago, um, 
Washington DC, New York City, um, probably LA. There's a lot more trains that go through those cities, but depending on where you're going, you might have to like backtrack and it's just super annoying. Um, <laughs> you have to like go up and down and over. You have to go a certain way. And if you're transferring trains, then you have to go back to like one of the major stations and transfer there. Um, and it just, it it's not a straight line. Like with driving, you can pretty much relatively drive straight to where you're going um and obviously with airplanes as well because they have just the open air <laughs> uh but trains not so much train lines the tracks are not great <laughs> i mean america had their opportunity and they failed <laughs> we're definitely a car country and i my other con was not extensive con or non-extensive train lines and i already talked about like that um, and you're also more likely to be delayed in a train than you are with a car or even an airplane. Like airplanes, um, if they're delayed, it's because of weather. But because but trains are less likely to be delayed because of weather, but more likely to be delayed just because of another having to wait for another train to go by. Um, I think freight trains take priority, so you have to. The, sometimes your train will stop and there will be a delay. Um, and sometimes the trains can be really late. I didn't really have that issue on my trip. I had a couple trains that were a little bit late, maybe half an hour, I wanna say, but not super late, but sometimes they can be much later than that. Um, oh, I did have one train that I wasn't on, but that I was waiting for that was delayed maybe three hours. So, um, but that was actually on and going, I think I only had maybe a little bit of a delay, but I did have to wait like three hours for one train. So yeah, they're not super reliable in that as aspect um, and can be delayed. But so, I mean, overall, I definitely liked traveling by Amtrak. I would consider it again, not for such a big major trip, but if I was going somewhere within just the Midwest or something, I would probably think about it. Um, depending on how long and the price. It is definitely easier than driving. You don't have to deal with driving or paying for gas or any of that. Um, and it is usually cheaper than um, flying and also better for the environment. Um, and it's just more comfortable, I think, than being on a plane where you there's a lot of people in a small amount of space you can't walk around the seats are not very comfortable you can't really go back but i'd say overall amtrak is okay it definitely has its flaws and drawbacks but i think the pros outweigh the cons generally um and especially if you're traveling with a big group of people i would definitely consider trains um, over flying or taking a car. Um, yeah. So, all right. Let me know in the comments your own pros and cons or your thoughts on Amtrak travel in the U.S. And also, um, let me know if you have any questions and I will try my best to answer. I used a U.S. rail pass and I bought it when it was on sale and there's a certain stipulations to using that um but I really like the um oh I guess I didn't really I guess I really didn't talk about this either but another pro to Amtrak is just how easy it is it seems like um airplane travel is such a hassle because you have to figure out you know getting your liquids in different containers and having that all together going through security taking off your shoes getting to the airport at a certain time um, you know, you have to be there usually at least an hour ahead of time. Um, and just kind of dealing with all of that. Whereas with the trains, it's definitely less of a hassle. So much easier process. You only have to get there maybe 30 minutes in advance. Or less if you're really ready to go, I guess. Um, if you have your ticket ready and everything. You just go on, scan your ticket, they tell you where to sit. It's really, really simple.
definitely, I think, the simplest way to travel. You don't have to deal with directions or anything like that when you drive. Like I say at the end of all of my videos, sorry I rambled so much, and make sure you subscribe. I will be making a few more Amtrak videos in the future, so thanks. Have an awesome day.